For two days, police have been digging for a body they believe is under a Northeast Heights home. And now they are asking for public help to find out who dug the hole that Michael Snyder may have been buried in after he vanished in 2002. News 13's Ian Schwartz is live at the scene on Anaheim near Paseo and Tramway. Ian. Yeah, Dick, for two full days now, they've been searching after getting a tip. Snyder was buried under the garage. Police will stop digging at 6 tonight. They're worried about carbon monoxide building up in the garage from the heavy machinery. Crews have now dug nine feet under the garage and still no body. Because it's so deep, police believe whoever buried Snyder here must have used a backhoe to dig the hole. They're asking anyone who may have been hired to dig a hole at the home to come forward. Snyder built this home himself, but the garage wasn't added on until a few years after he vanished in 2002. Neighbors say the thought of Snyder being here all these years is spooky. It's a scary, frightful thought that there could be someone that close to you buried underneath the garage for that long, you know. So um, it's an uncomforting feeling. Now we asked police why they're so sure based on the tip that someone is buried under this garage. They did not have a comment. They said that they have had a suspect in the case since 2002 and hope to make an arrest as soon as they discover a body here. Back to you. All right, Ian Snyder, who was 43 when he disappeared, was last seen leaving a restaurant in Phoenix in 2002. He was with his wife, who divorced him a few months after the disappearance. She later remarried and moved out of the house when it went into foreclosure.